So, gentlemen, we're here. You ask the first question. Um, regarding the budget? Whichever well, one you want to. Well, I mean, on, on, on the budget, what I'll ask uh, Honorable Leo Auger is this. Uh, Honorable Leo, the, you, you've looked at the budget. You've seen the document before you. Do you honestly and sincerely consider that? I mean, considering the fancy words and the buzzwords and highfalutin words of job of uh, budget of job creation and inclusive growth, do you actually consider that document before you, having studied it, to be a document of inclusive growth and job creation? And tell me, how does it affect the ordinary man on the street? Beautiful. And I think your question I will answer with just a simple answer. Yes. Yes, because first and foremost, you will agree with me and you will look at clearly at the provision of Section 81 of the Constitution. There, the President is required you know, to prepare and present to you the revenue, sorry, the, the estimates and expenditure of a financial year. I believe the President has done what he is he supposed to do. We have looked at the policy program of the President, which are clearly in tune with job creation and a host of other issues. This budget is a document prepared by people. It becomes very, very important that we look at our core responsibility. The provision of Section 4 sub 2 makes, gives us the responsibility of making good laws for the good governance of this great nation. The budget also is part of the system. Let me refer you again to the Constitution and bring you to the provision of Section 80 sub 4, which stipulates clearly that no funds shall be withdrawn from the consolidated account of the Federation or any public account except in the manner prescribed by the National Assembly. The Constitution has made us the custodian of the people's resources. Knowing fully well that this budget is about job creation, making sure that you know, there are some high level of agricultural development, it becomes our core responsibility to dot those I's and cross the T's. We are not looking at what precisely the President has presented because definitely there must be one or two errors. But it is our core responsibility, except we are failing in carrying out our responsibility as lawmakers, in making sure that those clear provisions that need to be added and subtracted are added. There are one or two errors that are there in the budget. I will not deny those facts. But we will be failing if we don't do what the Constitution requires us to do. And what is that? It's making sure that we give to the Nigerian people the budget that will, at the end of the day, serve their purpose. This is not more the budget of the executive. Interesting. Interesting. I, mean, I, have, I asked a very direct question, and mm. unfortunately, Honorable Leo has um, quoted uh, several the provisions of the Constitution, of which I'm well too familiar, uh, but they have no relevance to my question. Uh, my question is again, and let me try it in another way, maybe he'll understand. Do you consider a budget that dedicates or allocates 23% of our resources yeah. to capital? as a budget of inclusive growth, as a budget of job creation. Because I've looked at the document. I've looked at the length and breadth of that document, mm. and I cannot find any job anywhere. I cannot find any inclusive growth anywhere. And that's why, maybe from his own perspective, he might be able to tell us, where are these two things? Because that's the title of the budget. That's the name that has been given to the budget. Those are the buzzwords that we hear all over the place. But it's not about buzzwords. It's about practicality and the contents of the budget. It's, it's, it's I mean... It's not about quoting the Constitution. I know my responsibility. But before I can dot the I's and cross the T's, I have to see the I's and the T's for you to dot them and to mm. cross them. But there are no I's and there are no T's. So I'm not even sure where you, you, where you start from. A budget that dedicates 1.1 trillion naira to capital. Well, it goes so beyond, that 1.1 goes beyond. That 1 .1 trillion naira, it comes in with a fiscal deficit of 912 billion. Okay? Mm. Out of which, practically all of the, your capital, it means, therefore, is going to be borrowed. Now, assuming that it's not even borrowed, at 25% capital, 30% for the past three, four years is what is implemented. So really, what you have, in effect, is about 10% going towards capital. Where is the job creation? Where is the growth? Those are my questions. They're very pretty. Uh, I, th I think we should, not, we, should not, we should not mislead the public. Please, let me appeal. The, the budget carries a capital of $1.3 tri trillion. Big whoopee. The, 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 1.3, 1.1. He is including the short pay program. Perfect. Which is not part of the, which is not what the capital that was sent to us was 1.1. Bring in the Shopee, 1.3. You still have a deficit of 912 billion, which is 15% of your, of your total budget, of the aggregate budget. 
Nowhere in the world, any serious country. And you want us to debate the budget in two, three days? A budget that allocates 10%. Wait a minute. 10% to education. Whereas the UNESCO, United Nations and Education Scientific Cultural Organizations benchmark the budget is 26%. Has more than, the budget has more than 10% for budget, education. A budget oh, that oh, allocates 5.6% to health. When we had heads of states in 2001 come to this country and agree with Nigeria that we will begin to uh, yeah, to allocate yeah, the, yeah, 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 the, the budget has more than 10% to education. Please, let's not mislead the public. If you look at the educational profile, I think it carries the highest amount of allocation. Let's, 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 let's. The budget of 2014, yes. I am let's, looking let's, with a fine tooth comb, carries 10% uh, allocation no, no, of the total I, budget. No, I disagree. I, mean, I disagree with you. I disagree with you. I but let's, let's, look, let's look at what we are doing. It is important that we work within the resources available to us. What we have together today is almost about 4.6 trillion, all right? And at the end of the day, you realize that... That's not what you have. Let me correct you right there. It's Outside of that, there's over 12 trillion. Those are the, those are the 23 they, 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 companies, federal government companies. Those are the 10 billion that's missing, 20 billion that's missing. It, it is, you it have is, a total it is, of 12 it is trillion important that we outside look. of the budget it is important. Important. And that's it is important. Important. That, is that is unaccountable. And that is why the Fiscal Responsibility Act says, bring these things for debate. Bring them, attach them. Why is the commission? Who's on the details? Who's running from attachment? 